What's up, Breaking Muscle? Justin Lind here for the ninth and final week of our handstand video series. This is the week where we put it all together. All the previous eight weeks combined, all the mobility, all the strength and stability work, and the honing of that proper position, it all comes together. We're kicking up into a freestanding handstand, learning some techniques to not only bail out of that safely, but also to control the way up in order to balance in a freestanding handstand. Let's get started. All right, before we start going upside down, we're gonna learn a drill in order to come out of our handstand safely. What it's gonna look like is basically a handstand pirouette coming down like a cartwheel. Sounds a bit complicated, but all that is is a way to build comfort, stepping one hand forward to shift your whole handstand so that you can step down on the other side rather than falling forward out of the freestanding position. So what we're gonna do, we'll start in a plank. You're gonna kick one leg up, just like you're kicking up into a handstand. Whatever leg, that side that kicks up, that's the same side hand that's going to step forward. So I'll show you one on each side. The first one's gonna be right leg, so as the right leg comes up, the right hand steps forward, and it shifts me, and I can step out the other side rather than falling over. I'm gonna do a low version, one on each side, and then I'm gonna show you a version that we take it all the way up, stalling out into a handstand for a sec, and then come down the other side. So you can take this drill as high as you're comfortable, eventually learning how to come out of a freestanding handstand safely down the other side. All right, now that we're comfortable stepping out, we know we're not gonna fall over, we're gonna try to actually stall out in our freestanding handstand. Now the two most important things as we kick into this are going to be the active shoulders, reaching and pushing away, and also the active hands that we practiced on the ground in week seven, right? You really wanna be gripping the ground, engaged in active hands, active shoulders, that's what's gonna help us control that balance. And what we're gonna do is begin, just like when we first started kicking up on the wall, with our hands planted. So you don't get to take any momentum from, the, from standing down into that kick. This kick is gonna come all from your strength. So we're gonna have hands planted, already put ourselves into that hollow plank position with our upper back rounded, shoulders in handstand, hands in handstand, and the one leg is gonna kick, we're gonna lift that up, already point and engage that one leg. So everything is in a handstand except the position of your body, and the one leg that's kicking. We're gonna start those kicks really small, so just up, slight stall out, and we're gonna take it higher and higher. All right, now that we've found a little bit of control, kicking up with our hands already planted, we're just going to move it to a standing position. So you get to take a little bit of momentum into this kick up. So it's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna begin standing with our shoulders already active, just like we're about to be in a handstand. Hands at the ready, so as soon as they find the ground, they can be engaged and active. And that trailing leg, the one that lifts off the ground as you step into the kick, as soon as it comes off the ground, it's gonna go straight, toes pointed, nice and engaged, so that by the time your hands find the ground, your body is almost in a handstand position. All you need to do is kick off the ground with that one leg. Just like we did in the previous version, we're gonna leave the kicking leg trailing so that you have a little bit of weight on either side of your hands to modulate that balance. The biggest way to stall out your handstand progress, as in not progress very quickly, is to be in a rush to bring those two feet together. If you can spread that position, you create a lot more balance. That looks like this. All right, now that we're beginning to find a little bit of balance, stalling out in the top of that kick up, the next final step is to bring those feet all the way together into a full straight freestanding handstand position. So when you're kicking up, leave those legs split. Leave one forward, one back. It helps you modulate that balance. Don't be in a rush to bring them together until after you really find that balance. Once we can find a position of stability there, then you can slowly close that position.
Thanks for joining me for this nine week freestanding handstand video series. Use these final set of progressions to develop that freestanding balance. And as always, feel free to reach out with any questions or comments you have after watching this whole series. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.